How good are Harvey's leftovers? Let's find out. All right, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Welcome back. So the reason we're doing this is because a lot of times when I order Uber Eats or DoorDash, I always order enough food for the next day. And that means there are always gonna be leftovers. And I'm always curious to see how good some leftovers are compared to the other ones. So today we actually starting it off with Harvey's because they had a buy one, get one free, or technically you buy for $20, get a uh, Angus burgers for free. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna try out the regular meal. Then I have our leftovers and try it out the next day. Now the difference here, I think next time what we'll do is instead of having them here, we'll probably have the leftovers at the restaurant, comparing them there. And then the next day, try out the leftovers and maybe possibly try to make it better. So as you guys can see, we do have our hot dogs. We have a hot dog, we got an Angus burger and our fries. Again, this was DoorDash slash Uber Eats. So it's gonna be a little bit cold in comparison. So starting off with the iron ring, not crispy at all, but still really good. Assume that if you do have it from the restaurant straight up, it's gonna be crispy. But I think something that we can make this fix, throw in the air fryer the next day. Now we have our regular hot dog. You obviously gotta get the hot dog anytime you go to Harvey's, pretty known. Uh, we do have a chipotle sauce, some relish, and also some onions as well as a garlic mayo. So we'll take a bite of this. Hmm. Hmm. I love the hot dogs. Absolutely fantastic. The garlic mayo is good. Mmm. Chipotle. Again, any condiments you would like will make a good meal. Mmm. Another bite first. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I love. I love the hot dogs. Mmm. I'll do for the hot dog the next day. I'm gonna try it cold as well, and then we'll probably heat it up somehow. Don't know how, figure it out. And with the Angus burger, no cheese. Pretty bare, I think I put tomato, lettuce, onions, and um, I think we put chipotle sauce, Harvey sauce. Think about it this way, you guys can see it. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The Angus burger is really good. I think they could've put a little more sauce there, but still. Oh, we good. Honestly. Probably want to throw some onion rings on top of this. It would make it fantastic, but now we're just doing it plain. Take a dumb bite. Mmm. Mmm. For sure. Next time we'll go to the restaurant, try it out, try the leftovers the next day. I think that'll be a good idea. Or, because Uber Eats, obviously you gotta wait for it by minute where you get it. Anyway, we're gonna see you the next day. We'll try out the food cold. See you guys. All right, so two days afterwards, uh, we actually have our food. I kind of split it into two. We actually have it basically cold here, and then we also have it microwave. Uh, problem with the microwave, you also have all the vegetables and stuff like that. So we're actually gonna be trying it cold, and we're actually gonna try to make the cold one better, and we're also gonna try the microwave. So give you guys maybe a better way to improve it. Start off with the cold one. We're not gonna go uh, too crazy on it. It is gonna be a small bite. Okay, honestly, it's not that bad. At least you get the vegetables, the coldness with that, the bun. You still taste the sauce, which is good. But obviously, the meat, it is quite chewy. So, in comparison to when it was fresh, it's probably not the best of choice. But still, um, it's it's not bad. Honestly, if you're if you're okay with eating it cold, I think the sauce will be better. Let's try the burger. I'm uh, the burger. I mean the hot dog. We're gonna go ahead and try the hot dog. Okay, cold hot dog. I feel like if you've ever had cold hot dog, it's not bad, it's good. Everything else, the bread is kind of like, kind of whack. But the sauce and everything like that, still very solid and uh, I'm not too, uh, uh, onion ring, we'll do an onion ring. Absolutely terrible, don't eat this cold. Probably can make it better. It's really just like soggy, cold. Definitely not what you want from your onion rings. Let's try out the burger from the microwave. So I microwaved it for like a minute. It's really not long. Probably gonna get away with like 30 seconds. Let's try the burger first. Keep in mind, when you microwave it like this, you will also microwave the veggies. Mm, yeah. Bread is also soggy. Veggies are warm. At least, the bun is hot. 
So that's that's good, but overall, I don't know. I personally, I think I'll take the burger, especially if your condiments on top, sorry, especially if your condiments on top are cold, I'll probably get the cold burger and eat it. I don't know how healthy you can have it, but definitely microwave is, it's all right. Not crazy bad, but not terrible. Let's go and take a bite of the hot dog as well. Mmm. Hot dog. Hot dog's not bad. Again, the condiments. On the hot dog, typically you won't have made a relish, but you won't have like the onions, the tomatoes, and stuff like that. So microwaving this, it could be decent. The sauce will get hot, which is weird, but it is what it is. Now we have our onion ring. Uh, don't microwave your onion rings. Definitely not it. So yeah, if we're rating it just based on how it is, the burger, probably a 3 out of 10. Hot dog, I'll give it a nice solid 6 out of 10 microwave. Onion ring, 1 out of 10. Absolute trash. Cold, the hot dog, not bad. 4 out of 10. The burger, not bad as well. you probably give it a 5 out of 10. Onion rings, also trash. Is it better than the microwave one? They're both trash. 1 out of 10. After actually finishing um, the microwave one, the, the hot dog one, I'm going to be real with you. Um, hot relish, not so good. I'm sure you guys noticed that burger still okay but then in the end what we decided to do with our food um, i didn't really show you guys how we did it but i want to show it to you guys here and explain it what we did do is with our onion rings if you have an air fryer just air fry it it is fantastic and you will still have that crunch with it mm. definitely the way hot crunchy it's not gonna be soggy it's not gonna be cold perfection burger gonna be a little different but if you really put in the work what you do is you put the buns on the side, you open it up, and then afterwards you put the meat in the microwave. Yes, I get it. You don't want to microwave too much stuff, but putting the meat in the microwave just for like 30 seconds to warm it up. The buns, if you can, take off the vegetables and the sauce, put it on the side, and put the buns in the oven. A little microwave oven or a little, little toaster oven, perfectly fine. Hot dog, I just straight up threw the entire thing into the um, toaster oven, and um, it was just enough to heat up the bread but keep the inside cold, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with my hot dog being a little cold. I just like the toasty bun. Yeah. Mm. And if you want extra, what you do, throw the hot dog in the microwave as well. But I'm okay with my cold cold hot dog. That's pretty good. And then the burger. Mm. Let's take a bite. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yep. That was great. Meat's hot. Vegetables cold, bun, nice and low, toasted. Mm. Add a tip, if you do order a burger and you plan on having it the next day, try to get the condiments on the side. If you can do that, it'll make this a lot easier, but I understand if you can't. Mm. I think what we'll do next time and change it, we'll do it fresh after one day, and the last one do it after three days. And we'll probably do different stuff too. So yeah. My final conclusion to this, if you guys do want to get some fast food, keep in mind, it's not going to be that great the next day. It is hard to microwave any of these type of food, onion rings specifically, but if you want to, you know, you can air fry, you can oven it, anything you would like to make it better, it will work. However, I feel like other food would be a lot better. This is my opinion. I probably would put a thumbs down more than anything, especially if you're trying to have it the next day, but that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think. We'll try something else next time. Let me know what you guys would like to see. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.